Hi ladies, um, I, it's Beth, I'm here at, at 90, sorry, there's a car going by, 90 Baywood. This is, um, I'm just walking to the end of the street here. So these are the, the, the neighboring homes right here. And then this wraps down around, around the bend. You can see, you know, there's, there, because there aren't heavy deep, any, there isn't a POA. Um, there are, um, there's like down the street, you probably can't see it, but down the street, there's a, a camper in the front yard. Um, but they're all decent homes. Looks like they are doing some work on cars, maybe a little bit over here on, on the right hand side, or, um, or maybe they just have, have a few people living in the house, or maybe they're having a party. I'm not quite sure, but, uh, this is the home itself and um, it's a nice little yard it's not a large home but it it's it, it's cute I've, I've been inside there are a couple things with the shingles here and I noticed some in the in the front over here so you know that would all come out in a home inspection um, you have have a chip shingle here but let's go on inside So there are tile floors um, in the foyer, and then um, can't really see into this bedroom very well. You have a coat closet here. Um, they don't have an overhead light in this front bedroom. Um, I, I really, I don't think this is going to translate well, but it's it's a decent size room. It's not not huge. Um, but it's a decent sized room. And then a small, smaller bathroom here. But everything's very, very clean. This is a third bedroom or den. And there are actually two closets in, in here. There's one. A smaller closet here and then a larger closet give you some idea of the space of the closet because I'm not sure exactly how this is translating on the uh, on the video here okay moving back this is the front door just to reorient you and then this this is the great room it's not huge I mean the whole house is is a uh, you know small but but cute um, the, so this tile floor carries carries through, and the kitchen is efficient. As we talked about, you may might need a couple uh, couple new appliances. You probably have space to put some, you know, a little table in here. But it looks like a newer dishwasher, a newer stove, and refrigerator. Just come over and check it out. Yeah, I mean, it's clean. It looks fine. It's cool. Um, looks like they already have a cat door out to the garage. Now, there is not a screen porch. Um, There isn't a, a screen porch going out to the back. Sorry. Sorry, ladies. I didn't realize there was a board here. But there, it is a cute little patio back here. And you could add, I think, you could have a, a, a screen uh, porch coming off, off the back of the house. And let's take a look at that. You know, coming back off of off of this back roof line, and it wouldn't necessarily be a huge screened-in area, but I think you could, I think you could do something for the cats. Um, and then it's a cute little backyard, and actually, I think it's a cemetery back there um, behind us. So, you know, the neighbors are quiet. You have have a, a nice tree line through here. And 
and I mean maybe if you wanted a bigger bigger outdoor space maybe this could be extended you know take these bushes out and extend out to this this railroad tie you know have concrete poured um, could be a possibility heading back inside let's check out the garage real quick just to give you a perspective from this standpoint you know you have your this is your little di dining room area dining area here you would have if you have a piece of furniture you know like a hutch you would have some room along here for the hutch and then your dining room table the garage big garage you know big two-car garage you have your hot water heater out here got some good space in the in the garage and then I'm just gonna run over back here and uh, check out the master bedroom down this hallway is it's tile floors and then they have a stacked washer and dryer in this laundry area but you have room to do a you know to do a side-by-side -side washer and dryer if you prefer and then coming into the master you have hardwood floors in here there's a little tray ceiling and they have have crown molding up in the tray and around the room a nice size walk-in closet with the hardwood run into the closet plenty of room for for a king-size bed along that wall if if you have one um, it's it, it's a good size room then you come into the into the master bath you have the, the tile and then a, a, a nice double bowl vanity soaking tub um, and then a, a stall shower it's not a huge shower let's look inside I mean it's not not a huge shower but if you ever wanted to um, you might be able to do have a whole shower put in where this where this tub is you know there is a window here but you could maybe even work work around that um, and have have like a, a glazed over glass put in there so Anyway, that is, um, that's it. That's what I have for you. I hope that this is enough. I will, um, I'll send this over to you and then check in and see what you guys think. Thanks.